Okay. So, that lesson class was all about linear equations and inequalities in one variable. So, in this class, we are going to differentiate how or what is linear equations and linear inequalities in one variable. And we're going to try to solve as well linear inequalities and linear equations. So, let's have first the difference between algebraic expression, equations, and inequalities. Sorry na, type or ni siya, isa rin na siya ka L, algebraic expression. So, in our previous lessons class, if you can still remember, we talked there about algebraic expression. We have our polynomials. So, we have a background already. What is a algebraic expression? So, we have here, at siyang tanawin, on sa day, nakalahi nilang tulo, teacher. So, we have here, when we say expression, it is a math problem. Simple, it is a math problem. So, you have there some examples like x, y plus 7, 8 minus 2, 5xy, in which you can see their variables and constants. Okay? So, na-argued siya variables and constants. Expression lang yun siya. Okay? Anything that you can solve. Okay? But when we say equation, equation has an equal sign. It is still an expression, but it has already an equal sign. So, let's just say, for example, x is equals to 5. y plus 5 is equals to 18. You have there 8 minus 2 is equals to 6. 5x is 5xy is equals to 40. So, if we can see the difference of the two, ang equal sign regard ang iyahang differentia. But, in this time class is, ang kaning ato ang equation dari is, we are going to solve it according to left and right. So, dapat balance siya. Like, for example, here, x is equals to 5. So, maybe in a given expression, ang x niya is equivalent to 5. And this one, y plus 5 is equals to 18. Here, we're going to look for the value of y. Diba? On sa may value sa itong y class, kung i-add na to 5 kay 18 ang answer. Sige daw. On sa may value sa y, nga kung i-add na to 5, um, it is equivalent to 18. On sa man nga number atong add na to 5, nga mahimo siyang 18 plus. Okay, we have there 13. So, meaning to say, our y here is equivalent to 13. And here we have 8 minus 2 is equals to 6, which is correct. And then 5xy is equals to 40. Okay? Mano siya equation ha na equal sign. So now, na na da yun tay, um, idea kung unsa din yung inequality. So, inequality man. So, kung sa English pa na ang in means... Ang in, it means, diba, that is not. So, you have there, not equal siya. Or, we are going to use these symbols. Not equal man. So, you have there, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. Okay? So, these are all inequality symbols. So, kung tanan dira, imura na siyang i-change ang equal sign to inequality, then that is an example of linear inequalities. So, you have there 3 less than 8. You have there y plus 7 is greater than or equal to 18. You have there 11 minus 5 
greater than 1. You have as well 7 plus 3 greater than 5. Okay? So, makita na to. These are all inequality because of it. Teacher lang sa equation lang. Ang kanang kuan ba? Minus. No equals kuan minus. Why? Why is it minus? Asa? Ang equation ba ka ng 8 minus 2? No equals is minus. Ah, 8 minus 2 is equals to 6. This one? Yes. No minus ng kuan equals. Kani siya? Yes. Minus in yung nakita sa screen? Yes, sure. I know. Dili equal symbol? Equal symbol akong nakita sa screen. Minus in yung ha, class? Yes, sure. Yes, sir. 8 minus 2 equals 6. Ah, yeah. It's correct. 8 minus 2 equals 6. Minus na kikita sa screen. Ah, 8 minus 2 minus 6. Equals ang makit answer. Ah, equals. Yeah, that's equals correct. Equals makit answer. Equals. Or basin sa laptop. Actually, equals na siya. 8 minus 2 equals 6. Yeah, that's correct. Diba? 8 minus 2 is equals to 6, Mangyun, if we're going to do math. Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. So, maybe sa laptop, siya, no? Or sa screen? So, but that is 8 minus 2 is equals so, to 6. Basta na lang, Kocher. Ah, okay. Sige. So, more na siya, itong difference. Okay. Yeah, but there would is zoom. So, you have there, that is the difference of our expression, equation, and inequality. So, makita ninyo sa tong expression, you can only have there the plus and minus and the multiplication. But here, sa tong equation, you have addition, subtraction, multiplication, but then we have an equal sign already. For inequality, same addition, subtraction, multiplication, and still we have the inequality symbols. Questions for this class? Wala ragud, sir. Okay, wala ragud. Very good. Now, this time, we are going to look at what is linear inequality in one variable. So, unsa din yung linear inequality teacher in one variable? So, when we say, ato na siyang binagsaon class, ha? So, when we say linear class, it comes from the word unsaman class. Linear. So, mani yung koan diha? Greek word. Or, not Greek word, but... Um, Wakakabaw. <laughs> okay, from the word linear, unsaman yung makita diha nga um, shorter term na ma-identify da yun ninyo siya. Okay, very good. We have their line. Diba? Line daw siya. So, when we say line, iyahang graph aning linear equation class kay line. Okay? Line siya. Then, when you say equation, diba? That was our um, our slide before sa kaninga slide. So, you have their equation. Um, It has an equal sign. And then, in one variable, unsa ganito ang variable class? Is it letters or numbers? Variable. Okay, letters. Ayaw na kalimti ha? Letters ang ato ang variable. So, niya na ta. Linya daw siya. And then, um, equation. So, na equal sign. And then, usara iyahang letter or usara iyahang variable. So, in short, or kung ato siyang ihatag as definition, a linear equation in variable is one which can be written um, in a form of ax plus b is equals to zero, where a and b are real number, constant, and a should not be equal to zero. So, it means class, when we say linear, line man siya, so ang ato ang highest exponent is 1. Okay, remember, highest exponent is 1 if we have linear. Because when you are going to have your grade 8 na, you can still have linear, and then grade 9, you will have quadratic, and then for grade 10, you will have your polynomials. 
Okay? So, remember, linear, pilagay ang exponent. Pilagay exponent plus? 2. Oh, bago pa ako ng ingon. 1. Okay, 1. I linear. 1. Okay. Linear gani, 1 ang exponent. Okay, so asa magkupot ang exponent, teacher? Add to sa imuhang variable. So, atong variable diri class is x. Okay, kay one variable raman ta, so that is x. So, teacher, letter magya po ng A o B. Ang kanang A o B na to class ay R, real numbers. Okay, real numbers na siya. It could be 2x plus 3 is equals to 0, like that. And also, the constant is at the right side. Don't forget this one, ha? It can be written in this form. Ax plus b is equals to 0. A and b are numbers while your x is your variable. And then yung exponent is only 1. Okay? So, let's take some examples. So, you have there 3x is equals to 9. Okay? 3x is equals to 9. Kani mo hang b diri class, the real number na siya, ha? Constant. So, ang imong a pod should not be equal to 0. Kaya kung 0 imong a class, meaning to say, wala na kay variable ana. Constant na lang nga b ang naa. Okay? So, you have there 3x is equals to 9. So, kung imo na siyang inani o forma, you can have that one as 3x minus 9 is equals to 0. Meaning to say, imo na siyang i-transpose diri sa left side. But this is, this is still an example of a linear equation in one variable. Diba na asya'y um, highest exponent niya is 1 o sarayang variable, equation siya kay na equal sign. So, pasok siya sa linear equation in one variable. Next one, x plus 7 is equals to 12. So, that is still an example. O sarayang variable, um, exponent niya is 1 or dili makita nga 1 and then you have their equal sign equation. Next, you have their 12 minus a is equals to 12. Still a linear equation. So, so far, do you have any questions with this? Okay, wala. Ra, very good. So, if we are going to um, katong ingon, actually, gihatag na nako ninyo kung on say variable, on say equation, on say exponent. So, to understand better, we have here one example. So, for example, you have there, x plus 7 is equals to 12. So, we have here one variable, that is your x. And then, the highest power, so when we say highest power class, we are talking about exponent. So, for the exponent there, 1 as well. So, asa makita ang exponent, naa na siya sa imong variable. Okay? Naa siya sa imuhang variable. And now, so that is linear equation in one variable kay 1 man yung exponent. And then, the first degree equation in one variable. So, ang other term for linear equation in one variable is first degree equation in one variable. First degree kay isa raman iyahang or one raman iyahang highest exponent. Okay? So, questions class so far with this example? What are the questions here? None. Okay, none. So, you're going to know in your exponent class. Okay, in your variable kung usara ba siya. Okay? So, I will send some expression sa ito ang chat or equation and then let me know if you think this is a um, linear equation in one variable or not. Makita raman guru sa chat, no? Yes, sure. Sige. Exponent? Oh, exponent ning 2, sir? Yes. Exponent ang 2. Kanang na V pa babaw or inverted V. Okay. 
Okay, we have from Janelle. No. How about the others? No. Pud. Okay, we have answers na di ay. Karong panigawas. From Derilo and Cervantes. How about the others? What's your answer, class? Wala. Wala may answer, class. Not sure pa. Okay. Actually, no is correct. How about this one, class? Sige lang. Let's wait for the others. Basi naglibog pa sila. Okay. How about this? Y minus 10 is equals to 2. Just put Y and N na lang. Yes for linear. And then no if not linear equation in two variable. Okay, na na mga answer. That is why. Very good. Sige. How about this one class? X cube or X raised to the power of 3 plus 3 is equals to 0. Okay, that is no. Nga man, 3 man yung exponent and then sa linear, it should be 1 man. Okay, very good everyone. So, that's great. Okay. So, now, let's continue. Um, here, in solving our linear equation in one variable, we can use um, different properties. So, let's start with the first property, which is addition property of equality, or we call that one as APE. Okay? So, here in our APE, um, it states that if we add or subtract the same number to both sides of an equation, the sides remain equal. Okay? Remember, if mag-add or mag-subtract daw ta og same number sa both sides of your equation, the left side and the right side, so the sides remain equal. Okay, so you have there, A is equals to B, and then if you're going to add this one, mo ni siya tong i-add ang kaning C, so A plus C is equals to B plus C. Okay, so they are still equal if we're going to add or subtract from both sides. So, money siyang left side, money siyang right side. So, this is the original. Money siyang original equation. So, kung mag-add ta, sa right side o C, or sa left side o C, and then mag-add ta sa, left, sa right side o C, equal gihapon sila. Okay? So, now, um, let's try to look at some uh, the steps of our addition property of equality. So, step 1, add both sides, the number opposite to the number on the left. Okay? Add both sides, the number opposite. So, opposite gani class, um, bali sa iyahang sign. If positive, negative ang imuhang i-add. Okay? If negative, positive imong i-add. And now, then simplify to get the final answer. So, more good na yung steps class sa addition property of inequality. So, let's try to um, have some examples just like this. So, you have there x plus 3 is equals to 5. Is this an example of a linear equation in one variable class? Yes or no? Yes. What, sir? Okay. Um, is this um, a linear equation in one variable? 
Okay, we have the answer yes. is yes. Yes. Very That's good. Yes. That's yes. So since um, linear equation in one variable man, so ma-apply na to atong addition property of equality. So, di ba, sa step 1 na to class, ang atong buhaton ato niya is, di ba, ngayon man nga, add both sides the number opposite to the number on the left. Okay, so, unsa may number on the left na to class? Asa may number sa variable. left na to? Yeah, we have variable, which is x. So, asa man atong number ana or coefficient? Sa left side mo tanaw, asa may left side ane, di ba dere? So, asa unsa may number nga makita na to dera? 2. Is it 2? 1? Number, number. Unsa may makita nga number na to dere sa left side, sa x plus 3. Asa may number ana? Okay, three. that is 3. Oh, yes, <laughs> 1. Okay, that is... 3. Ang katong 1 nga, inyong giingon kas, that is the exponent. At ang ipangunta na is number man. Okay? So, you have there, wow. 3. So, niya naman, niya naman to sa step nga, um, you're going to add um, both sides, the number opposite to the, or opposite to the number on the left. So, diba, you have there, ang Number nga na na sa left is 3. And then, ingon man nga opposite. So, that is positive 3 man, di ba? So, unsay opposite sa positive 3 class? Unsay opposite sa positive 3? Why? Hmm? Opposite sa positive 3. Unsa may bali sa positive Ay, negative 3. Okay, negative 3. So, ayun yung buhaton class, kuhaon ninyo iyahang bali. So, di ba kung positive, iyahang bali is negative. So, you have there, ang ato ding i-add class is, we're going to add negative 3 to both sides of the equation. Okay, mo na siya tong step 1. Pangitaon ni mo ang number or constant sa imuhang left side and then kuhaon ni mo iyahang reciprocal or iyahang bali, di ba? Bali sa, sa positive 3 is negative 3. And then you're going to add that 1 to your both sides of your equation. So, ang mahitabo class, di ba? X plus 3, nag-add ka og negative 3 sa left, and then here equals 5 plus negative 3 pod. Kay both sides man imuhang i-add. Okay? Kay both sides man imuhang add dan og negative 3. Nasabtan ba ni siya nga part? Yes. Sure. Okay. And now, you're going to do the step number 2, which is you're going to simplify. So, yung muna dahil siyang isimplify ka ni, you cannot add naman ani niya since variable man siya, so you can just copy. And then this one, 3 plus negative 3 class pila. 3 plus negative 3. Nila man na siya, class. Asa naman si integer? Zero. Zero, okay. zero, zero. Okay, kalimti. Zero. Opposite man na siya. Sure, nag-double ko ang ako, Acher. Double. Tanang two things sa kung ko ang ba? Maybe it's uh, negative 6 or 0. Mona, ako ah, think. okay. Opposite man sila. Opposite man ilang sides. And then, nag-add man ka, diba? If they have the same number and then opposite ilang signs, then that is equivalent to 0. How about this one? 5 plus negative 3. 2? That is um, 2. Negative 2? A uh, 2 day. Okay. That is only 2. Kay mas dako man ang 5. Mas dako man ang positive. So, you have there, x plus 0 is equals to 2. So, kaning x plus 0, you can just simply write x there, and then you have there, is equals to 2. So, your answer of your x di sa kanideri is equivalent to 2 by just using our addition property of equality.
Diba? So, kung atong i-check na siya class, yung mo i-substitute ang imuhang value sa x, there is yung mong given. So, yung mo na siya i-substitute, diba? Your x is 2. And then, 2 plus 3 is equals to 5. And then, 5 is equals to 5. So, our answer is correct since nag-equal man sila or true man iyahang um, answer sa pag-check ni mo. Okay, di ba 5 is equal to 5? Kailangan naman na i-solve, sir. Yes. This is how you're going to solve um, linear, e linear equation in one variable. But wala pa ta ni end, di ba? Oh, okay. Yeah. You need to check it so that you will know if your answer is correct. Kay maybe pag solve ni mo diri nga ay nasayup ko uguan integers. So ikaw tanaw ni mo diri makita na ni mo if sakto ba yung answer. So you need to double check it. Okay? So actually class this is the first property na apatay next one. Okay? But so far do you have any questions for this example? Non sure. Wala ra big okay. questions. Wala ra. Now, let's go to our next example class. What if we have a minus 5 is equals to 2? So, same process gihapon. Tanaw ni mo ang katong nasa left nga koan nga number and then kuhao ni mo yung opposite. So, on sa may left na to nga number dari class. So, tanaw mo sa equation. Variable. Yes, natay variable pero ari man sa number. Ayaw lang naghunaw na ang variable class. Ayaw lang naghunaw na ang variable. Aray rata sa itong number or constant na to. Okay, we have an answer 5. Very good. So, we're going to add 5 to both sides of the equation. So, nga naman, di ba? Ang number nga nasa itong left is negative 5. Remember ha, nag-hold na siya sa negative. So, 5 plus 5. No, not 5 plus 5, but negative 5 plus 5. And then the other side, uh, okay. mag-add kag 5. Okay? So, 5 siya kay opposite man sa ito ang number nga na adiri. Or kung ganahan mo class, um, ang tawag ani niya is you are going to make your variable alone on the left side. Okay? Gi-alone na nato siya or ato siyang gi, wag tangan og tapad. Okay? Mone siya to ang goal dira. So, manang kuhao na to ang opposite sa iyahang constant nga tapad sa itong variable. Okay? So, you have there a minus or a minus 5 and then plus 5. Kaya mag-add man ta o positive 5. And then sa right side po, you have there 2 plus 5. Remember ha, both sides good. Okay? It should be balance man. Kung sa ibuhat sa left side, mo sa ibuhat on sa right side. Then, imuna tayo na siyang i-simplify. So, maong goal na to class nga ang opposite sa ato ang left nga number ang atong kuhaon because para makancel na siya. Okay? So, para makancel na siya. Kaya makita ninyo ganina, di ba? You have there positive 5 plus negative 5. That is 0. Then here po, gani siya makancel na siya. Negative 5 plus 5, that is still 0 man yapon. And then, you have there 2 plus 5, that is 7. Kanang 0 class, okay lagi na siya nga diha. So you have there, your A is equals to 7. Just to check if your answer is correct, you can have A minus 5 is equals to 2 and then substitute your 7. So, 7 minus 5 is equals to 2, and then 7 minus 5 is 2, and then equal to 2. So, our answer is correct because our statement now here is true. Questions for the second example? Well, that would be questions true. See, how about the others? You can always ask, ha? Huh? ever naglibog pa. Okay. Sige. Now, that was for our addition property of equality. Now, let's move on with the next um, property, which is multiplication property of equality or MPE. 
So, kaniya itong MPE class, there are two situations na pwede na itong mabuhat. Okay? So, we have two situations. So, here, our multiplication property of equality states that if we multiply the same number to both sides of an equation, the sides remain equal. So, kani mag-multiply na taniya on both sides. Okay. So, you have there, A is equals to B that is yahang original. So, kung ato siyang multiply yan o C class, o kaning C there is a right, your equation is still equal. Okay? Your equation is still equal. Now, let's have some examples. For example, this one. 5x is equals to 40. Okay? 5x is equals to 40. So, class, applicable rani siya ha if wala kay plus or minus sign diha. Okay? Applicable ra siya kung ang imuhang variable, dili siya, for example, 5 plus x. Ang addition property of equality atong gamiton. Pero if magtapad gani mong variable o imuhang number class, you can use multiplication property of equality. Okay, remember that one, ha? So, just like here for our, for our example, 5x is equals to 40. So, ang atong buhaton ana niya class is we are going to isolate your x. So, you're going to isolate your x by kung unsay whole or unsay number ni mo nga tapad sa mong variable class, kuhao ni mo iyahang reciprocal. Okay? Kuhao ni mo iyahang reciprocal. So, this time, kuhao ni mo ang reciprocal sa 5. Ang sa may reciprocal sa 5 class. Sige daw. Diba ang 5 kay that is 5 over 1 man in fraction. So, kung ato siyang balihon, Diba that is 1 over 5. So, imo nang multiply yan o 1 over 5, imuhang both sides. Okay, remember, ang 1 over 5 ha, kay reciprocal na sa imuhang 5. Nasabtan ra ba? Kung on say reciprocal? Yes. Okay, very good. So, mana siya, imo siyang gimultiply both sides. So, you have there 5x is equals to 40. Then, you multiply na to 1 fifth sa left side and then 1 fifth sa right side. And now, diba, if you're going to multiply 1 fifth times 5x, ang answer diha is x. And then, kani siya 40 times 1 fifth, that is equivalent to um, 8. Or, kung ganahan mong mas easier ninyo siya maright, you can just simply put it as 5x over 5. And then here is 40 over 5. So, ano teacher? Kana siya, di ba? Fraction money and then whole number. So, 1 times 5x, that is 5x. And then put the denominator. This one, 40 times 1. So, that is 40. And then put your denominator 5. So, you will have there, kana siya makancel. Ang mahibilin diha is x. And then, 40 divided by 5, that is 8. So, ang goal ragyud na to class, mabilin ang x sa left side. So, that you can get a value of your x. So, if we're going to check that one, isubstitute lang gihapon ninyo. So, 5 times 8, since 8 man atong x, equals to 40. So, 5 times 8, 40, and then 40. So, our answer is correct. So, mauni siya tong first nga scenario class. Sa to ang multiplication property of equality. In which, nag-multiply ta both sides by 1 fifth. Actually, um, if we're going to do this one, this is not really common. Okay? Dili kayo ni siya common, especially when... You go to higher levels na. Kay, mas easier man ang next step ani. Or ang next scenario. Which is, kanisya. So, same gihapon. Isolate gihapon ni mo ang x. So, pero ang naka-difference niya, 
sa pag-isolate ni mo is, dili na ka mag-multiply. But, you're going to divide. Divide both sides by 5. So, para, di ba, kung mo yung tag-isolate is mag-inusara. So, para mag-inusara ang x ni mo class, mag-divide ka both sides by 5. So, this one. Divide mo both sides, left side, and then right side. So, nga man, kay kani siya makancel man siya class, ang mabilin is x. And then, 40 divided by 5, that is 8. So, maning, this, this um, property is used as well, or this is common, nga i-use other than katong nasa left side nga mag-multiply ta. But, you have to know that one as well because it's part man of the process. Okay? So, to check, same lang gihapon. So, there, that is still equal. So, that is for our multiplication property of equality. Questions class for this example. Non. Wala ra. How about the others? Okay, so let me know how if na I questions. Okay. Now this time, we're going to proceed with another example. So you have there negative 9x is equal to 36. Okay. So atong buhato niya class, same gihapon, i-isolate na to ang ato ang x. So, dapat mawagtang ni si negative 9. So, ato na dayon siyang i-divide both sides by negative 9. So, I'm using the scenario number 2 class ha nga mag-divide ta. So, that makancel ang ato ang negative 9 and then x ang may bilin. And then, 36 divided by negative 9, that is negative 4. And that is now our answer. So, substitute negative 9x minus 36. So, substitute lang ni mo, negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 9, that is 36, is equals to 36. And that is the correct answer. Right? So, please know what is the difference of addition property and multiplication property of equality. Kay dili rata magpataka o gamit ana since napod siya mga conditions. The same sa kong giingon ganina. If nagtapad ragani ang variable o ang constant or ang number, you can just simply use multiplication. If napagani siya plus, like 9 plus x, you're going to use the addition property of equality. So now class, um, actually here um, in our properties, we can use both. Okay? So there are some cases na you can use both the APE and the MPE or APE and the MPE. Okay? So much better nga na Kuan yud na understand ang APE o MPE. So, we have here our solving multi-step equation using our APE and MPE. So, when we say multi-steps, so we can use both APE and MPE in our equation. Okay, so kani siya nga mga equations class kay daghan-daghan na po siya. Okay? So, we have here like this. 6x minus 5 is equals to 19. So, diba, dili lang kayo siya isara ang imuhang kani siya na nagtapad and then kanina po nag minus 5 is equals to 19. So, pwedeng bisag-asa imuhang unahon anak class pero much better nga you're going to use first the APE. Okay? APE. If ma-apply ang APE class, ang APE atong unahon. Okay? Remember that one. If multi-step na gani siya, APE atong unahon. So, what you're going to do class, so same gihapon sa tong ganina, sa tong APE. Diba? Tanaw na to ang sa left side, kung asa ang iyahang 
na ay whole number or na ay constant. Ano sa may constant na to sa left side plus? APE pa taha, APE. Five. Okay, that is five. Or ayo kalimti, negative five. five. Negative five. Siya magdala sa negative. And then, ang atong i-add niya is 5. That is correct. Okay? So, you have there, we're going to add 5 both sides. Kay er, opposite man sa to ang negative 5. So, negative 5 yung opposite kay positive 5. So, you have there, nag-add ta niya both sides. So, 6x minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 19, and then plus 5, gap yeah, on put that sa right side. Okay? Then, after that one, ato na din siyang i-simplify. Okay. So, sa itong pag-simplify, di ba, ang kaning negative 5 plus 5, makancel naman na siya. So, ang may bilin diha is 6x, and then 19 plus 5, that is 24. Makancel na ni siya, class ha, kay equivalent to 0 man na siya. Now, this time, maka-apply na dayon ta sa tuang MPE. So, on sa man atong i-divide both sides class so that ma-isolate na to atong X or X na lang ang mabilin. On sa atong i-divide both sides. Sa 6X is equals to 24. Sige, ano saman atong i-multiply niya? Four. Four. Ano saman atong ikuan sa atong 6x is equals to 24 para x na lang ang mabilin sa, right, sa left side. Sige, para x na lang ang mabilin. Unsa man atong i-divide ani para makancel ang 6. Wala. I-divide na to sa 6 class. Para makancel ang 6, i-divide na to siya 6. Kaya diba 6 divided by 6, that is 1. Hala, dali. Ano kalimot? Ah. So, mama na siya tong goal nga ma-isolate ato ang x. So, we need to divide that one kung unsay tapad sa mong variable. Okay? So, you have there 6x is equals to 24. I-divide na to both sides by 6. So, you will have there, kani siya makancel, ang mabilin is x. 24 divided by 6, that is 4. Okay? Ah, okay, sure, okay, sure. Okay. And now, let's check if ah, okay. our answer is correct. So, 6x minus 5 is equals to 19. So, substitute na to x. So, x is 4 man. So, 6 times 4 minus 5 is equals to 19. 6 times 4, that is 24. 24 minus 5, that is 19, equals to 19. So, they are equal. So, meaning to say, atong answer kay correct. Nasabtan ba or na ay pangutan na? Wala ragi questions, sir. Wala ragi si tanan. Okay. So, di ba, na-apply na ito atong APE and ato ang MPE. Basta kay baw lang yun sa scenario, ma-apply ragi na ito siya. So, if wala ragi question, let's go to our next example. 3y plus 6 is equals to 12. Same process lang yung punta class, ha? Mag-start ta sa APE per me. Okay? If ma-apply ang APE, APE atong unahon. Ma-apply ganyan yun yung APE class basa sa left side na ay number nga nabuwag sa imuhang variable. So, you have there. And sa may atong i-add both sides nila class for our APE. And sa itong i-add both sides. Kru, kru. 
<laughs> Sige, ang sato i-add both sides. Okay, negative 6. Very good. So, atong i-add dan siyang negative 6 kay positive 6 man ato ang nalahi dere. Diba, this is first term, this is second term. So, second term na to kay 6. Or whole number or constant na to kay 6. So, ato na siyang addan og negative 6 both sides. So, as you can see, 3y plus 6 plus quantity negative 6 is equals to 12 plus negative 6. Then, ato din siyang isimplify ka na siya makancel. Kay 0 man na siya diritso. So, 3y and then 12 plus negative 6, that is positive 6. Then, i-apply na din na ito ato ang MPE. So, unsa may i-divide na to both sides class? 3. Okay. 3 to isolate yes, your sir. y. So, y is Para equivalent to 6 divided by 3, two. that is 2. Two. And then, substitute. So, 3 times 2 plus 6, 12 is equals to 6. It's equals to 12. Questions? What are good questions here? Wala, right, questions. Now, down to the last example, class. You have there this one. Oh. Try not to quiz. Yes, not a quiz. And then, my close... Um, wala rin siya time limit, pero maklose ni siya on sun, uh, Saturday. Kay, oh, okay. kuan man siya ka ng test naman mo next week. So, dili na nina to siya pa abdog next week. Okay? So, we have here our last example class. So, teacher, what are we going to do with this one? So, you have there 4x minus 5 is equals to 2x plus 7. So, let's start first with our APE. Maka APE ba ni class? Maka APE ba ta niya? Uh, yes. I think so. Okay. Actually, yes. yes. Kaya sa left side na to na po mantay negative 5. Diba? Yes. So, sir. ato siyang i-apply. Yes, so, on sa may reciproke, uh, on sa may opposite sa negative 5. Positive, positive 5. Positive 5. So, mag-add to both sides of positive 5. So, 4x minus 5 plus 5. And then here, 2x plus 7 plus 5. So, simplify na to. Kani siya. Makancel man siya, di ba? So, ang mabilin diha is 4x and then 2x plus 7 plus 5. That is 12. Okay? So, unsa on man ino to siya, teacher? Na pa'y 2x diri niya. Na'y 4x sa right, sa left side. So, maka MPE ba da yun ta class? Yes. Okay. Actually, dili pa ta maka MPE. So, on sa tong buhato niya, teacher. Since kanina, apa man tay 2x nga na sa right side, mag APE gyapon ta, pero ang kani dapat, ang kaning na sa tong 2x, Kay, mawala na ni siya sa right side. Okay? Mawala na ni siya sa right side. Kano man, it should be atong variable kay naaman sa left side. Okay? It should be atong variable na sa left side. So, atong buhaton class, kuha o nasad na tong opposite sa 2x, which is negative 2x. So, ato na siyang i-add both sides. So, as you can see, na mo siyang 4x plus quantity negative 2x is equals to 2x plus 12 plus negative 2x. Kaya nika-add, ano ni mong 2x plus negative 2x class kay 0 man na siya. So, ang mabilin sa right side, 12 na lang. And then, kani 4x plus negative 2x, diba, they are the same man sa itong addition of um, algebraic expression. If you can remember sa tong lesson, so pwede na ni mo siyang ma-add. So, 4x plus negative 2x, that is 2x, and then 12. And then this time, pwede na kang maka MPE by dividing both sides by 2. So, ika-isolate. Kani makancel, 12 divided by 2, that is 6. And that is now your value of x. So, to check if your answer is correct, substitute lang yun ni mo yung x diha. So, 4 times 6 minus 5 is equals to 2 times 6 plus 7. 24 minus 5, that is 19. 
2 times 6, 12 plus 7, that is 19. So, your answer is correct. So, Kanisha class, you have their APE, and then APE, and then MPE. Okay? So, Timan A nga, dapat ang imuhang nasa left, variable na lang, and then sa right, kay constant or whole number. So, that is for the last example of our um, solving linear equation in one variable. Questions? Sir, pila ka answer ang quiz? Sir, pila ka questions? Ang? Ang sa unsa? Ang quiz. More or like, like 10 to 15. What do you eat, 5? Hmm. Depende. Sir, multiple Yeah, na ay APE lang, na ay MPE, and then na ay multi-step. Ah, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. okay, so any questions? Well, there are any questions. I'm not open, sir. Okay. Sige. So, actually, it's 10.02 na. So, lapas na ta, no? So, mamalihog lang kuha na ba, mumongan and... Evangelista, sa kato kong giingon ganina. So, I think we're going to end here and this is also the last part of your um, appeal sa inyong coverage sa third grading. Okay? Sige. So, now, um, I think Okay, so I think we're going to end here. So thank you everyone for listening and then goodbye and God bless your exam next week. See goodbye, you. Goodbye, thank you, teacher. Bye.